Leopold have been in the mechanical keyboard game for a while now, and they've always been known for their build quality and clean, simple aesthetics. So today I'm excited to check out their 10 keyless option, the Leopold FC750R PD. This won't be a fully fleshed out review as it is a prize, so I didn't use it too much or open it up, but you know, you can get most of the info you need. Thanks to mwave.com.au for sponsoring this keyboard as a prize for our upcoming Sydney Mechanical Keyboard Meetup 2018. I'll put the links in the description, and of course, I will always give my honest opinion in my reviews. In the hands, it feels nice and solid as you'd expect, with minimal flex as it does have that internal steel mounting plate that gives it its rigidity and weight which is a touch under 1kg, so weight wise pretty standard. And this just looks clean as with a very basic plastic enclosure, but you get that quality feel from the plastic. This is available in a couple of different colours, which all look very classy. I'd say this one is my favourite colourway, with a slightly creamy or beigey case. And the keycaps match perfectly as well with a two-toned approach and solid black legends. And the legends are perfect, just clean, simple, and professional. So yeah, you can't really ask for more. Looking at the side profile, we do have that natural inclination to it. And you may not notice it right away, but we have their Step Sculpture 2 keycaps. So these are quite similar to Cherry Profile keycaps, being shorter than the normal OEM ones that you see on most other boards, making it quite comfortable to type on. On the bottom we have a couple of rubber feet for non-slip and two flip up feet that are also rubber tipped. We have our mini USB port with cable routing channels and finally our dip switches. These just allow us to make some small modifications to the board. Switch 1 swaps the left control and caps lock and that's where the extra keycaps come in. It's kind of a popular thing to do but I've honestly never liked it. Like, I'm one of those people that actually use the caps lock key, and then I'm way too used to having control down there, especially for gaming, and all the shortcuts as well. And the other switches are as described, so yeah, just small changes, and there's no software or onboard programming, so that's as far as the customizability goes. We still do have the FN key, and annoyingly, just by looking at the keyboard, there is no secondary printing on any keycaps, and then in the user guide, it doesn't mention anything. So you really have no idea what the FN layer actually has. I had to go to their Korean website, and here it shows that FN plus F1 to F4 is for repeat rates, I think. And then we have a bunch of media controls, and then finally we can switch between N key and 6 key rollover on home and end. So yeah, pretty annoying that there aren't any symbols for this stuff, so you would have to memorize them if you were to use them, in particular the media controls. Taking off the keycaps, and these are really really nice 1.5mm thick, double shot PBT plastic keycaps. So the legends are another piece of plastic and will never fade away. They have a slightly rougher texture to them as well, but yeah, these are super nice and they add so much value to the keyboard. Underneath the keycaps, I have some Cherry MX Blacks, but this does come in the other Cherry MX variants.
The stabs are great besides the space bar which unfortunately has a bit of rattle to it. On the box it does mention that it has a sound absorbing pad. I can't test how much of an effect it has as I'm not going to open the keyboard but I know that it's just like a felt sheet that goes between the case and the PCB as I did open up the Leopold FC980M. And with that one, it didn't make much of a difference, but in theory, it should make it feel just a touch more dense and tighter in sound. Overall, this is a classic Leopold keyboard. It exudes quality and class with a solid construction and a clean design that will fit into any environment. If a 10 killers keyboard isn't for you, then they do have the FC980 and the FC900 boards. It's a very simple board, what you see is what you get, so there is no real customizability or programmability you can do, which can be more bad for some. There is the FN layer, but unless you go looking for it, you won't know that it's there. But other than that, there's not much to complain about to be honest. I know I wasn't able to test it over a longer period, but Leopold do have a great reputation that they've built over the years. Thanks again to mwave.com.au for sponsoring this prize towards our upcoming Sydney Mechanical Keyboard Meetup 2018, and I'll put the links in the description.